NIH is providing us with the opportunity to build a system which after we build it is going to be one of a kind and it's just the beginning because it gives us a tool to answer some question that before we couldn't uh, answer. My NIH grant is about uh, using detector technology and novel uh, instrumentation in order to uh, improve the uh, spatial resolution and sensitivity for positron emission tomography. I spent like uh, many years in the reading room when radiologists they are reading uh, and looking at the patient images. And then I've been uh, observing what are their struggle because sometimes they look at the image and then they are not able to uh, know what decision they have to make. Imagine that uh, if you have a tumor and then let's say if uh, they want to uh, send uh, the patient for uh, radiation therapy. It's really important to uh, be able to know what what is the extent of the tumor. So then current uh, available uh, positron emission tomography for the whole body, their special resolution is four to six millimeter. So then in head and neck, since the tissue are very thin, it requires as if like a magnifying glass to give a better image. So then uh, I'm hopeful that by providing a tool that the radiologists, they can see the image better with a higher special resolution, they are able to uh, like like define basically the uh, area for radiation therapy better or based on like what are the spread of the lymph nodes even the decision for if they want to send the patient for surgery or they want to send the patient first to chemotherapy is going to be different. For head and neck, since the tissue are very thin, uh, the patient may lose their taste, may lose their voice. So it's just like all about the quality of the patient life after the treatment. So then I think that this could be very instrumental in like helping uh, radiologists in order to improve the head and neck cancer management.